What's going on, man? Welcome. Peace, 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 man. Yes, sir. Now, how are you guys doing today, man? I wanted to talk about GTA 6. You know, let's talk about the leaks. Let's talk about rumors. Let's just, let's just talk about GTA 6, man, because one of my favorite games was GTA 5 and the GTA series, right? And I think the 10th anniversary has already passed, bro, and that, that's crazy. Like, the age of GTA is literally the age of my brother right now. The age of my little brother. My brother is, like, 10 years old. That is crazy. You know, that's that's a whole decade. And we still haven't got a GTA 6. Oh, my God. When is it going to release? And today, I just wanted to go... I just wanted to tell you what I... And this is all coming from my dome. This is all coming from within. And... I just wanted to talk about the game, the upcoming game, GTA 6. And a lot of people have been talking about this game and that there could be a possible trailer. Now, I want to say one thing here is that whenever anybody says anything, you have to take it with a grain of salt because obviously Rockstar is really like secretive. Rockstar is like really good at keeping secrets. They're really good at not showing people what the game is about or like giving smaller details or this and that, right? And it turns out, you know, the guy who played or the guy who people thought played Jason is actually not the person who's playing Jason. And I kind of thought about that. You know, I kind of thought, why is why is this guy, you know, the guy, I, I'm not even going to put up his name or anything, but you, I think you know what I'm talking about. Most of you guys know if you've been into the leaks and you've been doing your research and you or you just been watching videos like recently. He wasn't, he is actually not in the GTA, but I mean, who knows? Who knows? I mean, why would he be posting like, why would he be posting like similar photos? Like if it was GTA 6, like Miami and palm trees and all that type of stuff, right? Why would he be doing that? And I found out that there could be a possible trailer next month uh, in October. That's what people are saying. You know, people were saying on Twitter, which now they're calling it Twitter X. What the hell is going on, right? At first it was meta and then it was X. Come on, what's going on? What's going on, right? And basically there was somebody on Twitter who said that they were really sure that the next trailer of the uh, the next GTA 6, I guess the trailer for GTA 6 was going to release in October. And man, I mean, I mean, you never know. Let's just see. Let's see and find out because I I feel like if the trailer does release this year, Maybe the game is going to release in a year from now because you got to realize the more time, the more, the more we wait, right? The more we have to wait, <laughs> like the more we have to wait, right? And because this is what Rockstar has always done, right? They release a trailer and then they release the game like two years or a year later, right? But I don't really know if they're going to do it like that. What if they just, I'm just speculating right now. What if they just release a trailer and they, and then they, then they just release the game like a week later. Like that would be kind of cool. Honestly, that would be amazing. Like that would be unprecedented. Maybe they can do something new. Maybe that would happen. I have no idea, but that was, that was what I was speculating. But you know how Rockstar has always done their gaming, uh, I guess gaming entry series of like showing you guys like what games they want to pr present to you guys. They always do it in a, in a way where like they release the trailer and then two years later, they release the game. So if that's the case, if this trailer does not come out this year, oh bro, we're going to have to wait until 2026. We're going to have to, we're going to have to wait until 2026. But guys, honestly, me, I don't really care if the game does or doesn't come out. I'm still going to be happy regardless, right? I'm still going to be great. But I know for a fact that the game is going to release sometime soon because that's what a lot of people are saying. You know, I was looking at people and they were saying a lot of people are sure, right? Most people are sure that this game is about to release. And people have been saying this. And I know, I know people have been saying this for a couple of years. But no, we are literally living in 2023. You got to think about it. In the next two years, it's going to be 2025. We're, we're literally in the future right now. The future, right? We're actually in the present moment right now. But yeah, that's pretty much it. But guys, what do you guys think, man? It's already been the 10th anniversary of GTA 5. And I remember when, when I remember the first time GTA 5 came out, bro. I was literally in fifth grade. I was in my, I was in my house, right? And I was just on YouTube. I was watching the Rad Brad. And I remember seeing the first upload of the gta 5 series i was like oh my god i can't wait to play gta 5 so this is going to be insane so whenever this game comes out 
hey man i'm definitely gonna be prepared to make videos for you guys i'm definitely gonna be be prepared uh just to play the game in general because i just want to play the game you know we've we've been waiting for so long and uh yeah man yeah and man when they first when gta 5 first came out bro man that was amazing like i had that euphoric feel i'm like oh my god i want to play this game right and now the other thing that i wanted to talk about is like is video games bad for you right are video games bad for you right i, I was going to make a video on this but this kind of correlates too right because a lot of people in like i guess in the self-development right self-help or people sometimes people see they see video games as a bad thing. And honestly, I don't really see video games as a bad thing. I feel like it could be a good thing and a bad thing. Because if you're playing every single day for like, I say, six hours, five hours, then yeah, that could be bad. Unless you're making money from it. Unless you're monetizing that game and you're making some type of currency or money from that type of game, right? Somehow, right? I do it through YouTube, right? And... If you're doing that, then nobody else can tell you that gaming is bad, right? It, it, nobody else can tell you. And I realized that you got to, you got to, you have to be smart and time your gaming time. Like for me, I always go by like play 30 minutes a day, right? And whenever I play a game, I always have to record. Like that's that was my that has been my number one, number one rule for the past three years, where. If I'm playing a game, I always have to record. I always have to live stream, record it, or just put it out there in some type of way. Because if I'm, if I, for me, I feel like if I'm just playing video games and I'm not recording or I'm not making any type of currency from that game, then I feel like I'm wasting my time, right? Because, it, because I remember back then, I remember I used to play video games a lot, right? I used to play video games so much. And I remember I took like a, I took a year, I took a year off of gaming and I felt completely different. I, bro, I felt completely different. And that's how I could go back from playing video games. And recently I already took a break from video games. I literally took a break and I realized that you have to time your gaming time. You have to time it. You have to have a, not a, I won't say a schedule, but you have to be, you have to time manage your gaming. For example, like I only play 30 minutes a day, right? No more than 30, 30 minutes a day. Before I, pl before I play a game, I got to make sure that I'm, work I'm, I'm meditating, I'm, that I'm reading a book, that I'm, I guess, working out, going for a run. You know, all these type of things, doing some exercise. Because I feel like you, you feel way better if you start your day off with just focusing on yourself. And then later on, you can play video games. Like, I found that's the best for me. Because I realize if I'm if I'm doing the same thing every single day, if I'm playing video games every single day for like a couple of hours, and I feel like there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that because video games can teach you a lot. But you got to make sure that you're moving your body. You got to make sure that you're moving, and it's not it's not really that difficult because once you get into once you get into the routine of it, it becomes easy. It becomes easy. But right, nothing really is easy. You got to put in the work. Yeah, man. But guys. Man, GTA 6, man, I can't wait for this game. I can't wait for it. I can't wait. I can't wait for the game to come out, bro. I, I literally cannot wait. But guys, if you enjoyed today's video, man, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, man. Have an amazing day. Peace out, man. Have a good one. And let's go. Yes, sir.